guys, what is up? This is Red Thing Ghost coming to you live through the power of YouTube. And uh, I've got a no new model. It is um, Constructo Modelismo. Modelismo. <laughs> Sorry, something just fell. And uh, I want to get into building this. So I've got a couple of other stuff that I still need to bring you on this channel. I know and I'm aware of that. And I think you guys are also swearing at me now. I still need to finish my Larry Larson truck, which I'll probably bring out next week. This is a new model. I've never done shipbuilding before. This is a wooden model. This is a, they call it a Coleman 1850. I don't know if that's the actual name of it. It's a wooden kit. You get some free goodies as well. You get long nose pliers, tweezers, looks like a file. Also got a artist knife, very sharp knife, and then it seems like you've got a a block here that you can actually use to uh, model and to uh, get rid of all the burrs and whatever on the model kit itself. The length of this boat will be about 47 centimeters, about 18 and a half inches. The auto height is about. 24 centimeter or 42 centimeters about 16 and a half inches the anchor width is about 10 and a half centimeters and four and a half inches and then the scale is 1 in 80 so let's get into this like i say i haven't bought something like this so if you guys want to see this on the channel i'll bring it to you on a weekly base and we can build this together and i think this is going to look absolutely brilliant when it's finished so let's get into it so as soon as you open the box, there's a box inside a box, so let's quickly take it out here. And there's a couple of goodies here. So let's just put the box to the one side. So when we open the box, you get a almost like a uh, plan of what we need to do. And this is quite large, so I don't think I'm going to show you all of this. So this is all the parts labeled nicely. We've got the sails, we've got the hull. There's the, the full size of the boat. I don't know if it's going to be that long. And then on the reverse side, we've got some other instructions as well where all the parts need to go into. So yeah, that is quite nice. Christopher, can you hold that for me? Thank you. So with this, we get the instruction manual. This is quite thickish. It's in a couple of languages. It's in Portuguese, English, German, Italian, Mexican. So yeah, we'll just have to page through and get all the English sections. So in here they've got a nice display of what needs to be done in this model, where we need to clip it, where we need to, I don't know if you need to glue it. I know they send us a couple of nails that I saw on the video that I've seen. So I don't think if this boat is just going to be nailed in as per the new or the, the, the regular boats so when we get it open you can see this is all the tools that they send us so this is like a little sanding paper that's the little block that they send us and i think that's just to file down so there's all the tools that we get along with this model which i'm quite stoked about let's start from number one and just see okay this is all numbered here so this package containing the number 8 on has got the anchors on there. This seems to be like a die cast metal. I don't know if this is going to be paintable. And we've got the rings as well. And where the anchors go and attach to on the boat itself. Here's all the nails. And I think this nails is going to be used to basically hammer all of the struts on the side. Get it onto the boat. In package number 9 we've got a little bit of wooden parts here as well. That is all laser cut. So it looks quite nice. Number three, we've got a couple of copper bits, and I think these are for the, the side windows, looks like it. Then, in package number, what is this, number six, and this is all labeled number 79 or whatever, we've got the main steering, I don't know what you call it, like, so we'll get into this, I haven't done boats yet so yeah but that is the the wheel of the ship itself in package number four 
we've got a little bit of wooden blocks as well and I think these blocks are there for all the all the sails and for all the uh, the wiring and uh, in package number five get another couple of chrome bits and then we've also got like eye pieces I'm gonna go into somewhere package number 10 another couple of wooden bits small bits so i think this is going to be a challenging boat they say it's an easy boat but i think it's going to be challenging and then package number 11 we've got a copper rod and some copper cable which looks quite nice then we've got all the uh this is like thread that they want us maybe to use for the sails as well so let's keep them in place in number one we've got another couple of blocks here and then in number 12 we've got the actual sail you can see it says here common so i don't know if we need to uh, maybe cut this out i think we'll have to but it's actual material so that's quite nice then we've got the side paneling and the deck paneling that's basically in this little blocks so i think this is all going to be nailed into position which is going to be quite a tricky thing i'm just looking for the main ah, so if you lift up the box there's nothing else inside it just get it back in position here so when you lift it up you get a small piece of block there's a hole in there and a hole this side which i don't know what that is for i think this is maybe for the main platform where the boat is going to be sitting on when we finish the model these planks are, I think they bass wood, and they quite bent out of shape. Um, you can see it has been laser cut. The back of it has got a lot of burrs on it, and I think that's why they sent us the sanding paper with that as well, just to sand everything nicely down. And then we've got the main layout of the ship, with all the side pieces and some other bits. But like I say, you can see it's quite bent. So I don't know if we're going to able to straighten this out but apart from that i think it's going to be an absolutely great model so guys that's it from me um let me know in the comments down below if you want to see me have this board in my channel we'll take it through step by step and uh, i think i'll enjoy it just as much as you will so guys please uh like give me a like on the video and uh also subscribe to this channel and please go and check out my other videos where I'm uh, redoing some hot wheels and restoring and rest of mods on all of my Gorgi cars. And guys, this is Rattling Ghost saying cheers.